It sounds like you have quite the adventure. But it's good that you work things out. Anyway, we'll see if we can track Lila down somehow ourselves. I too will see if I can find any leads. No matter what, Mooey Mooey and Fred will find Professor Tatazo. Right then, so how are we supposed to track down this Lila? Can we not just ask around in the streets like we usually do? Might not be that helpful. It was night when it happened, so I doubt many people saw her. Meh, <laughs> time for Tora to show genius skills. You have some kind of idea, Tora. Tora, sure, it must be dead upon who finished building Lila. Yes, you told us as much last night. And Poppy made based on blueprints Tora got from Dadapon. So Lila and Poppy use basically same design, which would mean they are very they are constructed from very similar materials. Exactly, yes. Oh, I get it. If we ask around to find out who's been buying those materials in Morodane, it might lead us to whoever built her. Rare good suggestion for Master Pond. So, Tora, uh, what kinds of materials exactly would they need to make an artificial blade? Well, ether furnace is obvious, but apart from that, also need... Tetra Circle, Snake Joint, Black Ash, Delta Vessel, Rabbit Diode, Morph Orb, Photonic Coil, Fairy Tail Belt Pulley, Arc Indicator, Insect Chip, Perfect Range Sensor, Bion Connector... Wait, wait, wait! Nobody's gonna be able to remember all that. Tora not even say 1 30th of list yet! There are a couple of names in there that sound sounded familiar, though. The Bion Connector was meant to be easy to salvage around Gormon, right? Actually, other it, almost impossible to find anywhere other than Gormon around this season. So whoever we're looking for would have to import them from Gormon, right? Perhaps we might find some leads at Port An Anangil. We don't have much else to go on, so it's worth a try. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2! Last time we had a rooftop run, not as fun as the one in Sonic Unleashed, that's like for sure. This and this time, I just want to stare at this delicious food for a second. I thought this was a layer cake when it was in the background of that cutscene. Lame. All I got was some... Well, there's some donuts in here. Uh, Tora's dancing on the couch! That's actually kind of cute. Alright, well, uh, let's get things started here today. Uh, so for those of you that really liked that, uh, hot tub scene... What did you think? There exists official success. naked concept art. Of Poppy. <laughs> she's actually not even wearing a shirt normally. She's just wearing pants and a cape, but they I'll drew concept artwork for how Poppy was going to be depicted in that scene, so... <laughs> we actually got to see both Tora and Poppy yes, nude in the same episode. Ship snooping as usual, I see. Shut up. Around now is where I started running to the, into the point where I met all the requirements and I've sent every blade that has suggested field skills that I could find. In these situations, I sort by trust. And the blades that are close to finishing up their affinity charts, they get priority. This one's only got two circles left. We might very well complete our first one here today. Before we get in too deep investigating, you guessed it, it's time for us to go do something. In the plaza in Alba Cavanich is something that we can go take care of. A heart to heart. Shouldn't be more than a quick moment viewing the palace to get the day started off on the right foot. It's a pretty inspiring view, wouldn't you say? Let's go. My lady, over there, the capital's standing army. I see him. Let's keep our distance, yeah? Best let sleeping gogos lie. Good call. Be not alarmed. The troops that captured us were Ardanian military, yes. But from the Gormati Regiment. Those aren't the same? Hmm, quite different, in fact. One can learn many things while in a Titan battleship's brig. And I made good use of the opportunity. Damn. They checked me into solitary, so I don't know anything. It does seem they have separate procedures for blades and drivers. In any case, once I abandoned thoughts of staging a breakout, I did make sure to keep my ears open for intelligence. Did you hear anything else? Hmm, let me think. The soldiers over there are, as I said previously, from the capital's garrison. But those other ones, 
actually belonged to the 1st Imperial Guard, 2nd Battalion. Huh. What's the difference? Beyond the bridge is Hard Hay Palace, the Imperial Residence. Therefore... Oh, I've got it. The palace guards belong to a different unit. Of course. Indeed. Then, above the Imperial Guard rank and file, you have the Carrick Special Guard Unit. And higher yet, the Special Inquisitor, the Flame Bringer herself. Wow. Ah, um, me's man. I could never deal with all this hierarchy crap. Ever heard the expression, know thy enemy? Got any of the good ones, Dromark? The smallest unit in the Ardanian army structure is the Ten Soldier Decade. It includes eight foot soldiers, alongside the squad leader and the deputy. Six to ten of these decades can then form a unit called a century. But eight is the usual number. Ah, neat. <laughs> Master Rex, you did ask for a good one, correct? I did. Would you not say that that was a good one, then? Uh, which part? I said it commonly. Eight decades form a century. Eighty men. And yet they are a century. Oh! Now I get it. Rex, he's done his best, so just throw my bow away. Ah, uh, yeah. No, that was a very good one. Uh-huh. Very good. I have doubts about your sincerity. Mia, I was Torna organized. Torna? It was all centered around Jane. Not exactly structured, though. But we all had our assignments. What was yours, Mia? I was... Nap time specialist. Shut it. I was a general support. I hadn't been there long, so I mostly just helped out with whatever. Huh. Not much of a change, then. It is as you say. Stop making it sound like I'm some useless layabout. I mean, I can make brisket dumplings and stuff, so... Well, then, maybe we could cook something together. Mm hmm Okay, you're on. My lady, are you sure that's... Uh... Both of you will sing a different song when I stuff your faces with my food. <sighs> you had best steal yourself, Master Rex. My lady's cooking is not what anyone would call conventionally tasty. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have riled her up. Mark ain't a jokester, plain and simple. <laughs> I wish this scene happened sooner so it would give better justification for why they're going to the Ardanian capital. Again, it just strikes me as really silly and it doesn't have a lot of good justification in the story. It just seems really dangerous. I guess I can kind of buy that communications might be kind of rough in this world, but still, I'm just not really a fan of it. Uh, I also have to praise the music here in Alba Cavanich. I think it gets overshadowed a lot by the fact that the day theme in the field is so, so good. But I do want to speak praises for it as well. It's a song that I listen to a lot whenever I want something more, maybe not subdued, but maybe I guess more happy than the intensity of this. Uh, I like them both a lot. More Ordain, very good for music, even if I do have my issues with the story here. Perry Perry. Huh? You're Perry Perry, right? Ah, Rex, such coincidence to meet here. You haven't brought any cargo from Gormod, have you? Have so? Even though you were in Argentum. Came from Go Argentum to Gormod, then Gormod to Morardane. Oh, I see, I guess that makes sense. Then Tora have to ask some have something to ask Perry Perry. Did Perry Perry transport large quantity of Bion Connector recently? Meh meh meh. Talking about contents of shipment is a violation of trade confidentiality. Come on, we really need to know this. Ah, if request from Rex Rex, Perry Perry cannot refuse. Perry Perry carried Bion Connectors in yellow barrels. How many? At least 10, Perry Perry think. Ah, so it's a decade. All right, I understand. I, I'm learning. That's gotta be it. Perry Perry know where to ship, where, where shipment for? 
Sadly, not having that information, job was only to bring cargo to port. But cargo unloaded here always taken off towards city. Maybe friends find cargo at inspection point near elevator. Only a recipient not pick it up yet, of course. All right, we'll have to, we'll have a look. Thanks, Perry Perry. Being a well-connected salvager has its advantages. Everyone coming together to help in this conflict. Unfortunately, the only way to get there is by walking. There is no convenient skip travel point near the bottom of the elevator. Thank God this is a short field then, I guess. <laughs> All sorts of different goods pass through here into the city. The soldiers carry out inspections occasionally, but they don't have time to check everything. If something dodgy was mixed in among the rest, chances are nobody would ever find out. Of course, most of the stuff here comes from Gormoth, so it's totally safe. Oh, you know them Gormati always getting so along so well with the Ardanians. Uh, where is this? Uh, ah, there we go. Yellow barrels. Yellow barrels. Yellow barrels. I can't see any. Oh man, you're on the song that was kicking up. Hmm. Weren't there some over there the first time we came here? Come to think of it, I do recall something of that nature. According to memory of Poppy, yellow barrels were definitely there. So that means someone must have picked them up already. I can only assume as much. Well, that leaves us without any leads. Oh man. Tora not about to give up so easy. Tora, remember there is junk shop in Alva Cavendish. We ask for more for info there. Another rare good suggestion from Master Pond. A junk shop, huh? Yeah, they might know a thing or two about parts for artificial blades. Then what are we waiting for? Belch -et. Belch -et. What, a feminine burp? <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? Sorry, I don't do small talk with people who aren't paying customers. Maybe if you bought something, I'd be more willing to chat. Love you too. What do you do? Cheap stick skates. If you're not paying, I'm not talking. Did we buy something from you early? I already have these. A floating army. The butterfly lens might be cheaper though, but I want to own a floating army. Sounds like a really good way to invade Gormot. Uh, you didn't hear me say that. Uh, so what do you wanted to ask? Uh, Toro want to know if somebody bought certain parts in large quantity or took a, or took them to somebody. Whenever you, when you say certain parts, there are quite many variety. Toro lists them one after another. So for any, ring, any bells ring, please say. Really, we're doing this again? Tetra circle, snake joint, black ash. Uh, hold it. I do have some info on that last one. Meh, meh, meh. Over already. Master Pond looked disappointed. <laughs> All right. Please tell us the details. This old guy said that he had a regular customer purchasing black ash. Pretty large scale stuff from the sound of it. He was bragging about how he'd be rolling in cash for a while. Black ash is key mineral used in shielding agent and ether furnace. Sounds like we got our guy. Do you know where we can find this old guy? Hmm. Now, isn't that odd? Can't seem to recall. Maybe if you bought something, it might jog my memory. Why, you little. Holding Taurus family for ransom inadvertently! Yay! Thanks for your custom. And what do you know? I think I just remembered. If you're looking for, uh, you're looking for an old bloke by the name of Timel. He's in the business of transporting black ash and other minerals mined in Morar Day. Right now, you'll probably find him at the Turbine Tower, just across Medoro Bridge. Be careful if you're going to meet him, though. Thanks. Thanks ever so much. Thank you so, so much for all your help. You were an invaluable part to this journey. On the note of concept art from earlier, I also want to show that Mithra had some very different designs earlier in development. Originally, she was going to look more angelic with some wings, similar to how she was depicted in that play over at the uh, My Moma Playhouse. Again, I just Look love the I way found. that they foreshadowed that and worked Pyra's backstory into a play. It's, it's such a clever way of telling that story. Ah, oh, I was gonna go my man along with you, Tora. I don't normally like that, but I was gonna throw you a bone this time. Meh meh. Meh meh. Hmm? You want something? Tora wanna ask about Black Ash. About Black Ash, eh? Let me guess. Izette's been babbling, hasn't he? That correct. Honestly, that little punk. I know but not in the same way that you're saying it. But hey, it's not like I'm doing anything wrong, so sure, I'll tell you. What do you want to know? Have you been selling large quantity, quantities of black ash to someone? I don't know if I'd call it that large, just a few barrels at a time every now and then. 
If using a shielding agent for Aether Furnace, maybe not need uh, such large quantity all at once. Oh, I see. So, could you tell us where you're delivering these barrels to? Near the entrance to the old industrial district. I just drop off the goods where I'm told to, so I haven't seen the buyer or anything. Sounds suspicious. You reckon? They're reliable with their money and they pay a fair price. Can't say I ever thought anything seemed off. And after all, if you're gonna be build something outside the city, why bother having it carried inside? Not to mention that meeting it up in person would uh, mean having to schedule a time that suits both people. I guess that's a fair point, but still. When's your next delivery? That thing over to the right is horrifying to me. I am so scared of scorpions, and that's like a scorpion that's five feet tall. 10 days time. Seriously, we have to wait that long? Perhaps we should simply enjoy an extended hot spring vacation? <laughs> Would that not be, says the guy who can fly and is very small and hard to detect. Well, I only just made the last delivery. If you head there quick, it might even still be there. Tell us these things first. Come on guys, it's worth a try. Are the barrels easy to spot? Yeah, they should be pretty obvious. They're bright green after all. Let me know if you find anything else you want sorting out. Thank God a fight didn't start up. I probably would have actually had my heart jump at the battle theme right there. Nia doesn't have more than two blades that are currently of it. Ouch, Agat and Dromark are her sense. two blades. Uh, Well, maybe we can make this a little less terrible by giving Agat her first courtship. Sure, high critical rate on Axe is good. Still like the earlier design better. This one looks so generic compared to the other one that matched her body type. I mean, just look at that. Like, you can see it in her artwork. It's such a better match for her, and the other one looks so lame. Or as we're working our ways over that way, Scorpox! Get away from me! I don't want to catch the Scorpox! That's like an evil version of the chicken pox! So about Nia only having two blades. You can have two blades if you want. Heck, you can even have one driver or two if you don't want three. It sounds kind of silly to go for this, but there are benefits to it. If you want to test out a strategy in isolation without having other drivers interfering, uh, that is a legitimate use for having a single driver and just testing out stuff on a weak enemy. Uh, there is personal challenge. If more difficulty is wanted, it's thoughtful of them to think of that too. And then there's also the fact that um, the AI is not really the greatest. With Nia's AI not focusing on the driver combo, it might be kind of frustrating having her never do what you want because she has a topple art or a launch art or something of that nature. I know I've had that problem, and by giving Nia fewer than three blades, it might cause her to have more consistency. Some players actually do like giving people only one or two blades because of this. Got a common core crystal out of that guy. Then, what do you know? It's time for another heart to heart. This heart to heart will only appear if uh, you need to fight something. I see barrels over there. Just as long as I don't let them out of my sight, we can view this heart to heart. More are Danes so full of wasteland and hard rocks. Not easy for walking. Should we take a rest, Reindeer? Good idea, yes. You need to toughen up a bit, Tora. Tora lived whole life cooped up in house working on building Poppy. Not used to walking long distance. If only Tora could flitter flutter like Gramps. Well, you have those big ear wing things. Not on wings, not for flying. Could flap forever and not reach sky. If you're really having a hard time walking, you could ask Dromart to give you a ride. Ah, oh, Rex Rex is genius! I think not. I have solemnly sworn to carry none other than my lady. Go on, economist. What? Are you sure about this, my lady? If you allow Tora to ride me now, soon he will want Poppy to join him. And there will be no space left for you. Well, when you put it like that... Sorry, Tora. Guess I have to know. Oh, much disappoint. Pyra, are you okay walking? Oh, yes. I'm fine. Though all the dust clouds do bother me a little. Oh, yeah, those are a pain. Gets in your eyes sometimes. Poppy also not like that. Small particles get in joints and cause nasty creaking when moving. Must ask Master Pond to clean out and get out of this place. Rex Rex. It seemed like more ordained tricky place for everyone. Rex Rex have any bright ideas for helping? Well, let's see. Would anyone like to borrow one of my salvager suits? I suppose that would help keep the sand out. I've got a spare you could borrow. 
You want to try it on? Actually, I guess Nia's is the only one who it would really fit. Go on then, I'll give it a try. If it really is useful, we can buy a whole bunch of them sometime. My lady, that suits you surprisingly well. Huh? Oh, shut up. So this is what it's like for Rex when he goes salvaging, huh? Keeps the sand out pretty well, right? Well, yeah, it does that. But I can't really see. Peripheral vision's all in this thing. It's hard to move about in, too. It might not be very practical for combat. Yeah, I don't think I could fight like this. Looks like genius idea of Rex Rex, not so genius after all. Well, it was worth a try. Ah, the old grin and bear it solution. Rex not even trying to solve problem? Well, I mean, listening to you guys talk about it, it does make me think that the sand and dust is a problem. But then I realised it never actually bothered me until you mentioned it. It's not like it's making our attacks miss or anything, right? I think we're fighting as well as we ever have. It's a bit of an irritation, but it's not causing any actual problems. I suppose you're right. Yeah, I guess it's not actually slowing me down. Right? So I think as long as we keep our spirits strong, we can make it through this just fine. Well said, Rex. I'll do my best to keep going, then. I'll try to keep my mind off it, too. All right, let's keep moving, guys. Right. Is this really solution? Is best solution? I genuinely want to know if that's a model of Nia in the salvager suit or if it's just Rex recolored. Probably the latter. Dromart gets a new skill for that one. I shall wield this power in aid of my comrades. Fabel Bufa is an enemy that Dromark wants to take out. We were just fighting one of those. Now that it's respawned, why not kill it again? Ouch, the punch is what killed it. That looked really satisfying, actually. On the note of all these skills that we're unlocking, I could see some people thinking that I should have waited until after getting Mithra to do all those quests, but to that I say, oh, hi. I feel a change. I could use my power like this. To that I say, one, that, that was very easy to do, uh, without any quests involved, and for two, she's Mithra. She's very powerful already. I thought other blades could use it other than her. Mithra has Girl's Talk, a skill that we've previously seen on Korra that shared across a lot of female blades. Focus, we've seen this before on Pyra. Good field skill that's useful for a lot of things, though hers is only level one. She's gonna have some catching up to do. And Light Mastery, an entirely new skill as there are no light common blades for this to exist on. That managed to surprise me so much, I completely forgot the other thing I was gonna say about Mithra. It's the fact that there really isn't a slower time all Titan to go do quests other than when you first arrive in Alba Cavanich. So that, that was why I chose that timing. It was a hard decision. I went back and forth on it a lot, but this is ultimately what I thought was the best choice. This thing's face is horrifying. He's like smiling with his creepy wide-eyed look. Just look at him! Yeah, and his face is like made of wood or something! Reminds me of that time when like the Tombola man on Neopets had his mask taken off and he had this horrifying wooden face underneath. Why not? Give me level 2 of Foresight, level 3 of Aqua Wave. Uh, I just paused during a battle because I think that must have been frame perfect or something. Wow. <laughs> I can hear the battle music in the pause menu. With this power, I shall protect you. I still get to go over her battle skills. It's coming. It's coming. Just takes the right fight for it. Dromark, that was what we were working at. Should be a good one. I hope this doesn't crash the game when I exit it, because I've switched my blades around. Oh, thank God. All right, thank God. Yeah, you can't pause during this normally. Get away from me, man. I just want to come over this way. I just want to catch some smugglers, man. That should help out the natural environment, right? I bet they're causing lots of pollution to your natural habitat, because that's what evil people in store in fiction do. Green barrels. This must be it. And hey, aren't those the yellow barrels from before? Bion connectors and black ash. Materials for constructing artificial blades, without a doubt. The only question is, where are they going to be taken next? Are there any clues lying about? 
There is note written here written in Nopon. This Nopon writing, yes, but handwriting unbelievably scruffy, Tora not able to read, is like baby scribbles. Neither of you can read it? Wow, that really must be bad. I suppose we'll have simply have to decipher it somehow. That's one option, but would it not be easier to simply keep watch on the barrels themselves? You say that, but we have no idea when the recipient will pick them up. Yeah, what if they don't show up for five days or something? This sounds like a perfect mission to uh, leave to our mercenary allies. That would be an option too. What should we go for then? Branch and story objective. You can either have the right field skills for this. Leave Napon to Poppy. Poppy could read it the entire time. She was just messing with us. <laughs> meh meh. Tora can read. Manage to read writing. As usual, deliver goods to certain facility around chest area of Morardane Titan. That doesn't seem very specific, but at least we know the general area. Perhaps it's time we reported back to Morag. Tora tell Morag how Tora was key to investigation success. If we'll demand three years supply of tasty sausage. Don't get too carried away with yourself there. With that much tasty sausage, Master Pond not need to work for rest of life. The rest of his life with a three year supply? Anyway, if we head to this palace, uh, the guard should get us in touch with Morag. Yes, that was what you said. Shall we then? Way to just swoop in and steal all of Poppy's credit right there. This should be a decent amount of trust for all of our blades. Our merc group is not done doing the thing that they were off doing. Oh no, they are, they are. Sword fighter banner and range boost up too. <gasps> yes! That's our first full affinity chart. Forgetting that. Fitting it was Konjiki too. Weaponry for noobs. That's certainly a name, isn't it? <laughs> Why? That is the most poorly named item I think I've ever seen. You wanna know what that does? We go into Enhance Arts, and we can now use an item. By doing this, it's free WP for a chosen weapon class. Yeah, that's not self-explanatory in the least. Rock, you get your increased smash art, please. You really need that. Uh, we can upgrade your other stuff too, just for the sake of it. I don't like this item name. That's another reason why the, uh, why the, uh, item list is more helpful than a lot of people think it is. Because it's just... What a terrible non-self-explanatory name that is. Nia's got a topple art on an axe, and she's probably gonna be stuck using agate for probably a little while. So she can take that. I've given this a lot of thought. And Bitball is sounding really nice on Nia. This is a good weapon class for her, one that I'll definitely be using a fair amount. She can have one. By just using one of those. By just using two of those, we'll save the third one. We can now get an upgrade to Acrobatic Bomber, getting a level three on her break art. I've also noticed that, oh, it's the day for celebration. Nop on Chain Arts is finally mine. Give me that, please. Now, what should his next goal be? Ooh, the Rapture. I mean, he is very overpowered if you sell your soul to Tiger Tiger. I didn't think he was quite that powerful, though. Uh, Dexterity and Luck. Tora, your other skills are pretty sad, actually. I'm thinking, um, maybe this? Yeah, we'll save up for that. Nia, you really need to have a third blade on again. <laughs> Gotta leave those blade combo options open. And then just over by here, there's a level 84 uh, regular enemy. Yeah, not even a unique monster. It's kind of strange. Come on, Tora, you lead the way over to Morag. Let her know what a good job. Erg my head. Uh, what? You better consider your limits next time. What happened here? I want to know what happened there. We don't get to. Uh, all right. Did he. What did he climb? Try to sit on top of a flagpole and then fall? I don't know. 
I recently found out that the flagpole sitting record is over a hundred days long, and that it was a really popular fad in the 1920s, and how, where did they go to the bathroom up there? And did they have people run food up to them? I really want to know the logistics of that, and I don't really want those things in my search recommendations. Hey, Cancun. It's the more, uh, it's the more Kuth version of Cancun. Cancun. Hello, to whom do I owe the pleasure? So here's the thing. Yes, we've already received word from Special Inquisitor Morag. You've a lead on the artificial blade, I hear. Yeah. Hold on, I'll pass you over to the Special Inquisitor herself. I see. There was indeed once a factory there. However, it was abandoned some 30 years ago. So, you think we've got him? We can't be certain unless we investigate. Shall we go? You. We won't do anything reckless. If it seems dangerous, we'll turn back. How's that sound? Hmm. To tell the truth, it would be difficult for me to dispatch the military so quickly. Would you? Sure thing. Now, let me share what information I have found. There are rumors about town that an esteemed Nopon merchant is involved in this affair. An esteemed Nopon merchant? Chairman Banner? Well, we're currently searching the transaction records. If we find anything, we'll inform you. Pretty busy, eh? I don't deny it. I will head to the location myself as soon as I am able to mobilize some troops. All right, then. Looks like we got our next destination on the Ardanian Titan's chest. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We're gonna go around the city, get ready for the long walk ahead. See you guys then.